For more than 50 years, deep sea research has been a constant source of discoveries that have altered our understanding of life in the ocean, on land, and even beyond our planet. For many years, professionally trained deep sea divers have been undertaking voyages to discover what is beneath the waves. With the recent advent of remote-controlled robots and other technical breakthroughs, scientists and marine biologists are on their way to gently and methodically investigate the ocean's deepest reaches. Deep sea divers and remote equipment have uncovered several strange and unexplainable things. Some of these forgotten historical antiques are worth billions of dollars and reveal much about how ancient people lived. The undersea world is rich in precious objects. However, we'll show you some underwater discoveries in today's video. Stay tuned as this one is going to be fascinating. Not all jellyfish follow the same laws, and one species may have found the key to eternal life. Isn't it interesting? The thought of evading death has long attracted humans. The secret of immortality may have been floating in the water while we were studying the sky, science, and every corner of the earth. The shape of a jellyfish. Turritopsis domi, the immortal jellyfish, is recognized as the sole immortal organism. Christian Summer and Giorgio Bavistrello, students, gathered Turritopsis polyps and preserved them until Medusae were discharged. The jellyfish were expected to develop before spawning and generating larvae, but when the jar was examined again, they were shocked to discover several freshly established polyps. They kept watching the jellyfish and discovered that when they were agitated, the medusae would descend to the bottom of the jar and turn into polyps without fertilization of the traditional larval stage. The finding, assisted by the significant appellation, immortal jellyfish, captivated the world's attention. Although immortal jellyfish is supposed to have originated in the Mediterranean Sea, they may now have been found in waters all over the globe. This newly discovered invasion is assumed to have been triggered mainly by humans. According to popular belief, ships are responsible for disseminating organisms across the world's waters. After all, the jellyfish's longevity makes it an ideal hitchhiker. Human skulls from antiquity, finding human bones at the bottom of the ocean, seas, lakes, or rivers is not unusual. After all, people die in the sea too, although seldom. Numerous land masses in Ireland have been buried underwater throughout time. As a result, the bones will likely move to new areas with the flow. However, the skull in question is around 13,000 years old. It was found in a Mexican underwater cave. It belonged to a girl whose head and other bones told her tale. Researchers have given her the moniker Naya and discovered what happened to her. Stories of how a voyage in the early Americas and the suffering she suffered during that period have left traces on her remains, according to the bones. Scientists have determined that she was very emaciated, yet despite this, she was able to give birth to a kid who traveled vast swathes of the Americas until she died at a young age. At the time of her death, the girl was just 17 years old. She's been nicknamed Naya. Naya's remained very valuable to historians and archaeologists who were still attempting to figure out the origins of the people who inhabited both North and South America in the beginning. These bones might teach us a lot about the earliest people established on the continent, where they came from and how life was 10,000 years ago in America. The lost metropolis of Thonis Heracleion in ancient Egypt is one of history's most significant submerged discoveries. It's been submerged for thousands of years. According to the National Geographic website, its presence was only documented in a few rare inscriptions and old literature. Thonis' fabled origins stretched back to the 12th century BC and were noted by ancient Greek historians and its prominence developed significantly during the closing days of the pharaohs. Archaeologists have unearthed several very precious artifacts from the remains of this city, including sculptures, pottery, currency, ancient templates, and other gold and bronze treasures. Barris, an ancient riverboat discovered in the seas of Donis, was excavated in 2010. However, archaeologists think less than 5% of Araclan's territory has yet to be mined. The remainder is waiting to be discovered and studied by the specialists attempting to uncover every secret this city is keeping. The Molinari Bay Underwater Sculpture Park is an ecological collection of contemporary art located underwater in the Caribbean Sea, right off Grenada, West Indies coast. Jason DeCares Taylor, a British artist, designed the park and several sculptures. The location is currently one of National Geographic's 25 World Wonders. 
The 75 pieces, which occupy an area of 800 square meters, are spread throughout a variety of sand patches and valleys between natural rock formations. They are accessible via scuba diving, snorkeling, and glass bottom boats at depths of 5 to 8 meters, with departures from St. George's and Grand Ants a short boat ride away. The park's main feature is the life size cast of people and other things arranged in different postures. One well known artwork, Vicissitudes, displays 26 youngsters holding hands in a circular shape. Other sculptures in the park include Lost Correspondent, which represents a guy working at his desk, and Grace Reed, which depicts 16 concrete statues formed from a local Grenadian lady's body and positioned lying on the floor. Another, known as the Unstill Life, employs modern day things such as a table, vase, and fruit dish. This is a traditional examination of the artist's life. Including attractions under the sea offers them something to look forward to. Granada's Sculpture Park is not simply a tourist attraction, but also a certified national marine park, which helps with conservation efforts. The Yonaguni Monument is a gigantic underwater rock structure that measures 60 by 50 meters. A scuba diver seeking to study hammerhead sharks found it in the mid-1980s. Pseudo-archaeologists claim it is an artificial monolith chiseled millions of years ago. Masaki Kimura, a marine geology and seismology professor at the University of Rukuku, spent years researching the location. To find an explanation, he observed and gathered data. While his discoveries were remarkable, they were met with counterarguments and skepticism. Many divers have visited the location to develop their findings to this day. The answer has yet to be validated beyond a shadow of a doubt. Some say the monument is an artificial pyramid containing traces of a long lost ancient civilization. It was even dubbed the Japanese Atlantis. Masaki Kimura studied the location for almost 15 years. He is persuaded that it was built by humans, implying that ancient people previously lived where it is now. During his several dives to the site, Kimura obtained strong evidence indicating the ancient building was created by man, not nature. He identified numerous distinct artificial traits that backed his idea. These characteristics include tool marks, a retaining wall, a suggestive road, drainage ditches, gates, stairways, and two carved turtle statues. Kimura also discovered the presumed remnants of stone tools and a considerable relief etched with animals. Baia, Italy was an ancient Roman city on the coast of the Gulf of Naples. It is now considered a part of Bacoli in the Campania region. The highly wealthy and privileged were the ones who erected exquisite villas in this region from 100 BC to 500 AD, and Baia was one of these resorts that endured for centuries. This resort was once a haven for self-indulgence and was reputed to be riddled with corruption. Archaeologists conducted an underwater study which found that many of the park's finest structures were saved. The city was called after Odysseus's ship's helmsman in Homer's Odyssey, who was thought to be buried there. Even though the region was an active volcanic zone, the city was erected on the Cumaean Peninsula in the Phlegraean Fields. Many Roman sculptures, notably the Aphrodite of Bay, were unearthed before 1803. Necessary archaeological excavations in 1941 included layers of structures, thermal facilities and several villas from various eras, such as the Augustan and late Republication periods. Bayer's historic ruins may now be seen at one of the world's few underwater archaeological sites. Visitors may explore the city's crumbling architecture and magnificently preserve statues from glass-bottomed boats, snorkeling or even scuba dives, which enable them to swim amid the many ruins. While the city is no longer a tourist destination, its waterways continue to amaze. This weird and gigantic round object was discovered in 2011. It was lurking in the depths of the Baltic Sea, and experts worldwide were interested in its origins. A team of treasure-seeking deep water divers from Sweden discovered this strange building. They were utilizing a sonar instrument on one of their underwater expeditions when they saw this structure and decided to go check it out. They were astounded by what they discovered down there. The anomaly was around 210 feet long and lay about 300 feet below the surface. The divers that approached the monster said their equipment started to malfunction when they came closer to the peculiar pattern. In the presence of this anomaly, all of their electronics stopped functioning. This building is about 81 meters tall and 6 meters broad, and it is the focus of several controversial ideas today. Some extraterrestrial enthusiasts are sure that it is a spaceship. It does look like a particular starship from the famed Star Wars series. According to a geologist, Steve Weiner, 
who has extensively investigated this thing and the samples acquired from it. The shards of this strange architectural structure include metals that nature could not generate. Some believe it is a sunken vessel or submarine, but most experts believe it is a natural undersea structure, similar to many other indecipherable items in the waters. No one knows what is within or underneath this gigantic and strangely strong deep water structure. The oceans have their distinct ecosystems, about which we know very little, and despite several attempts, humanity has yet to obtain very little knowledge of what lurks underneath these waters. Despite discovering millions of distinct living species, geological features, and numerous unexplainable events, humanity has yet to map out 20% of the oceans. There is still plenty to be explored and found. However, we've come to the end of this video. Let us know your thought about these amazing discoveries in the comment section. We'll come back with another video with other underwater discoveries. Till then, take care.